Hey, it's Central Valley Real Estate and Home Improvement. I'm your host, Steve Wallach. My guest for this segment, Chris? Yes, Chris Williams. Williams. Welcome to the show, Chris. Good to Sorry meet you. Sorry I couldn't remember your last name. It's not important because what's important is what we're going to talk about. Yeah. We're going to talk about Chris Williams and what he does. What do you do, Chris? Yeah, so um, I am both a, a real estate investor and a, a realtor here in Fresno. I've been <laughs> active for 10 years. So Yeah. Um, and enough, you don't look old enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're, you're I, I just guy. turned 33 two days oh, ago. Oh, just a so. kid. No. Yeah. Okay, so you've got some you got some time under your belt. You've been yes. doing it for a while. Um, the market right now is is steady, but there are some people that got in the market a while back that are experiencing some issues. Um, maybe the issues are such that they're what we call upside down, mm -hmm. which is uh, not a good place to be. Correct. All right. Or maybe the issues are that they need to sell or want to sell their home, but it requires so much stuff. Yes. Okay. That it's going to be a difficult sale. Yeah. So who do they call? They yeah. call Chris Williams. Yes. All right. Hopefully. Tell me about it. Yeah. So um, typically what we do or the type of seller we work with might be somebody, like you said, they just have too, too many repairs. Yeah. You know? um, um, I kind of thinking about the, the people that you just had on and talked about, mm -hmm. you know, someone who may have bought their home 20 or 30 years ago. Hey. You know, a, a leaky faucet today can turn into, you know, a multi-thousand dollar repair. Oh, you've got five, ten, floor, you've got, you've got mold, you've got, oh, plumbing. Yes, you subfloor. Know, yeah. The, yeah. So, Habitability issues. Yeah. 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 Uh, the bulk of the property owners that we work with, they have too many repairs than what their mm -hmm. wallet would, can afford. Mm -hmm. Or um, they might have bad tenants, they might have tenants who are not paying who are kind of maybe verbally violent and won't let anybody walk through the property. Mm -hmm. uh, we regularly deal with people who inherit property or mm -hmm. maybe their parents passed away and they don't know what to do. So uh, we regularly help people go through probate. And, and you know, that's, <laughs> there's a lot of those people there out is, there. Yeah. You know? There is, yeah. And the house needs a lot of repair. Maybe their budget is not, uh, you know, very fat. And, you know, whoever left the home to them left them a home thinking they're doing a good thing you know there's all this value in the home but they can't sell it because there's so much wrong with it they don't have Correct. the money to do the repairs yeah wouldn't it be nice if they could sell it to someone that could you know help them in the process yeah but well, that'd be good wouldn't yeah it? absolutely yeah. yeah so i mean that's where we come in um so that's and, where you come in yeah yeah well, my, that's great my wife and i we've been doing yeah. this for 10 years yeah. and um you know we have um local cash investors behind us who yeah. can fund in three four or five days if needed so you know that no no humor that that is a it's an awesome thing yes it is because for for the individuals that find themselves and if you happen to find yourself in that particular state um you know oftentimes there, there's no there's no book of instructions Correct. there's there's no place to turn to to help you out or there hasn't been in yeah. the past so when they can find someone that can step in like chris and can you know lead them through the process take care of them in that process and get them out of their issue yeah and it works for them and it works for you absolutely it's kind of a win-win deal that's, oh absolutely that's yeah good. yeah i mean our, our our approach is always we want to find out what that individual needs mm -hmm. you know not just with the property but also what's going on in their mm -hmm. own lives because sometimes just selling the property could accomplish some other problem that's going on in mm -hmm. their life so um, yeah, we always take the approach of finding out what do they need, what do they want, and see how can I fit in yeah. that. And for sellers who maybe their financial situation doesn't warrant a quick cash offer, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think for me having the advantage of also being a real estate agent, then I can go in and offer to uh, list it at a price that works for them. Or um, I've even been able to combine both of those. Mm -hmm. And since I have really good relationships with our contractors, mm -hmm. I can actually bring in my contractor at my price mm -hmm. that they give to the client. And then, you know, if the client has 10 or 15 or 20,000, they can put into the home and then sell that top of the market rather than, uh, you know, potentially losing some equity because the, because it needs so many repairs. And that's another one of those things. And I found out recently, you know, there's various organizations that advertise on the, on the radio that say if you need a, you know, workman of or work person of any kind call this or that or the other that i'm finding out that a lot of those different mm -hmm. uh phone contact things are really the same umbrella corporation yeah. sure that operates it so you know there can be issues with that mm -hmm. and that's not a good thing is it for sure okay definitely so 
here you go. You've got someone that can take you through the process, help you, yeah. and yeah, that just works. That's good. Yeah. I like that, Chris. Yeah. So we always take a, a really what I would call consultative approach. Mm -hmm. You know, if we look at a house, I'm not there to try to push someone to sign a contract. I really mm -hmm. want to know what's going on and what's mm -hmm. going on with the property, what's going on with your life. Can I be your best fit? If not, you know, I'm not going to push it. Maybe I can refer you to somebody else that might mm -hmm. be a better fit. Or maybe we could shake hands and walk separate ways, or maybe we could shake hands and do business do and, business. and okay. form a good relationship. But it doesn't work, Chris, if I can't get a hold of you. So true. Now, how do I get a hold of you? Yeah, so okay. the best way would be to call me. That's area code 559-408-5977, or send me an email, chris at ibuyhousesfresno.com. Chris, C-H-R-I-S, yes. at ibuyhousesfresno.com. Yes, sir. There you go. That opens the door. Yeah. You know, having resources empowers each of us and having access to those resources gives us the ability to utilize them. So really, that's good. Good deal. I like that. Thanks for being with us. Well, thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Come on back. We'll talk more about the market housing and helping. Will do. Okay. Take care. Thank you. I'll see you when we come back.